Destiny Breast 03 is a phase three clinical trial evaluating trastuzumab direct TCAN or TDXD compared to trastuzumab emtansine or TDM1. Trastuzumab direct TCAN is an antibody drug conjugate targeting HER2. It was evaluated first in the Destiny Breast 01 clinical trial, which is a single arm phase two clinical trial for heavily pretreated HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. In this study, patients had a very high objective response rate of over 60% median PFS of over 19 months, and a relatively good safety profile. And these data actually led to the FDA accelerated approval of TDXD for heavily pretreated HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. Destiny Breast 03 is a trial that is designed to, uh, for the first time, compare TDXD to a standard therapy in the second and third line setting, TDM1. In this clinical trial, patients who had previously been treated with trastuzumab and ataxane were randomly assigned one-to-one -to, -one to receive either Q3 weekly TDXD or Q3 weekly TDM1. Um, patients were allowed on study if they had no brain metastases or if they had previously treated stable brain metastases. Um, the study overall results, interim analysis, progression-free survival results were already presented at ESMO 2021 and showed a highly significant improvement in median progression-free survival associated with TDXD compared to TDM1. At San Antonio, we wanted to evaluate TDXD versus TDM1 in different subgroups, subgroups based on hormone receptor status, prior receipt of pertuzumab, visceral disease, um, and presence or absence of brain metastases at baseline. Our key findings presented at San Antonio indicated that TDXD is significantly better than TDM1 for all patients, including patients in various subgroups, regardless of whether or not their disease is hormone receptor positive, whether they'd received prior pertuzumab, whether they had visceral disease, uh, regardless of prior number of lines of therapy, or regardless of whether or not patients had brain metastases at baseline, TDXD was better in terms of median progression-free survival and was also associated with a much higher objective response rate. We then did a deep dive into the 82 patients who had brain metastases at baseline on this study. Actually, 72 of these patients, um, 36 in each arm, had target or non-target lesions uh, detected on blinded independent central review at baseline. They were followed for an intracranial objective response, and in the TDXD arm, 63.9% of patients had an intracranial objective response compared to 33.4% of patients treated in TDM1. This is um, very exciting and intriguing data um, in this subgroup analysis because typically we don't expect that antibody drug conjugates, which are bulky molecules, can pass the blood-brain barrier and have efficacy inside the brain. But these data were certainly um, exciting to see. Finally, we also um, looked at the rates of interstitial lung disease in various subgroups. We looked at whether patients from Asia countries versus non-Asia countries had differing rates of interstitial lung disease, and we demonstrated that the rates of ILD for Asia versus non-Asia were essentially the same, 10.5% all-grade ILD with no grade 4 or 5 events. The results from Destiny Breast 03, I believe, place TDXD as a standard therapy now in the second line setting in patients previously treated with trastuzumab and taxane. I believe based on the efficacy evidence we've seen from this study comparing TDXD to TDM1, that TDXD should move TDM1 down 
and replace TDM1 as the standard regimen in patients who've been previously treated with trastuzumab and ataxane. The data also provide intriguing evidence for intracranial benefits with the use of TDXD. However, these um, interesting exploratory findings certainly need to be confirmed in a prospective trial.